you are watching this video, I imagine you are having issues with your controls after entering a game as the Talon Engineer in Mass Effect 3 multiplayer. Thankfully, some skilled people on BSN figured out how to fix this problem and put together a text guide showing how to do so. Some people have trouble have had trouble following this guide, so I decided to make a video to go along with it to help people out. So the first order of business is to locate the guide itself, which can be found on BSN in the multiplayer sub forum, and I'll also link have a direct link to the guide in the description of this video. But in the sub forum, it's in the resource library under Talent Engineer Keybindings Fix. And the link to it is in the first post of that thread. So since the fix involves editing the Coalesce file for Mass Effect 3, you need to download the Coalesce utility, which is linked right here in the guide. And I'll also add a link to it in the description for this video. So just go to that website and download the latest version. And open it up and extract the zip folder. And then you can launch the utility. Now since this fix does involve editing the coalesce file, it is a good idea to back that file up before you do anything with it. And that file can be found in your origin folder, Mass Effect 3, file game, quick PC, and then here there's a long list of files, and the one you're looking for is just called coalesced. me this file type is associated with VLC for some reason but so it won't necessarily have the unique icon for you when you're looking for it so just look by name so make a copy of it and paste it to the copy to your desktop or some such so that you have a backup now you can open the coalesced file with the utility and it is located in the same place as where you just found it when you're making the backup. Just navigate to that and open file. And now you're ready to begin the actual fix. Doing the fix involves changing the default key binding association within the coalesce file, so in order to do that you need to navigate through this hierarchy heat shown here in the guide, which is bioinput.ini, so expand that, expand SFX game, expand SFX game mode default, and then go to bindings equals multiple, which is where it lists all the default key binding associations. So in order to, now in order to do the fix, what you need to do is change the name of the buttons, the keyboard keys or mouse buttons associated with where how you want to have it set up with the command involved with that key or button. So just go through and edit some stuff. So for example, for me I use E rather than spacebar for the do everything Omni button, so let's change the name to E right there where the command is shared action. Now, in single player, I use spacebar for the inner command menu, so find that just down here rather than left shift, so just highlight that, place it with spacebar. Other things that I've changed. Uh, that's pretty much all of those. So now, if you want to, this all these are only primary key bindings. If you want to add secondary key bindings, you do so down here in this blank line. So, for example, if I wanted to have 8, which
which is thermal clips and game bound to another key as well. Just add name equals. So now you may add the name of the key that you want to do this with. So I'm going to put it on Q. That and then add what the command should be. So this command is PC hotkey eight. secondary binding for that. Uh, oh, for other things like reload and whatnot, you see that doesn't seem to be any shared any reload command here. If you want to look for other functions or commands, they are locate the names for them are located under these two nu numbered subsections and localized binding. Swap weapons, shared melee, reload, squad follow, squad move, and show map, and so on, and so on. If you need to look up any commands, so just add those here. Some other ones I'm going to add is I like having a secondary zoom command. I don't even remember why I have it associated with Z when right mouse is so much easier to do, but I still revert to this sometimes, so just name the key to be Z and the command it to be shared aim. Other ones I want I might want to make sure change is I don't use the in single player these commands are relevant not multiplayer but I have different squad move commands and attack and follow and so on I use function keys for that so we'll and just look up the commands in that upper section so squad follow I use F1 for that. through and adjust all fine and then I'll come back and show you how to fix the issue go through the guide to show you how to fix the issue with thermal clips on the Talon engineer all right now it's time to fix the problem with uh, thermal clip packs being unusable for some builds of the Talon engineer and this is detailed in the final section of the guide so First step is to go to bioinput.ini, which we're already in, down to SFX game mode default, SFX game, SFX game mode default, or SFX game mode base actually, and then expand that and go to bindings equals multiple, and add line listed here. And just copy and paste that in. The bottom of this list. Now we need to go back to where we were editing things before, which is SFX game mode default, bindings equals multiple, and you can add, copy and paste the other one. This is for the default thermal clip button of 8. If you want use a different one for thermal clips on your Talon Engineer, you need to change 8 to whichever gear button you are using to do so. So now that everything has been changed to have the default key bindings be, uh, instead of being the original defaults, the key bindings we actually want, we can save the coalesced file and close the editor. Now in order for this 
take effect, you need to go into options in game, and from there you need to reset your key bindings to default, or launch a game where you're playing a style and engineer, which will just cause your key bindings to be reset to defaults, and then from there all the changes you did to the coalesced file will take effect. I hope this guide helped those of you who had some issues with the text guide, and best of luck with your new key bindings fixed. Oh, and one more thing to remember is that editing things in the coalesce file is something you should be careful about doing since if you edit some things it, it is a bannable offense for multiplayer so don't just go around messing with things in the coalesce file unless you know what you're doing.